I think when we started the uh, entire process, it was a vision of how we can take electric mobility to the next level. And uh, we had two key areas. One could be leverage the capabilities of Mahindras in areas of supply chain, in areas of distribution, in areas of manufacturing. And I think all three have been gone quite well over the last year as we've launched the new E2O. We'd also be need to leverage a lot of the extra capabilities on product development of the Mahindra Group. Mahindra also was very keen to look at electrification of its platforms, and we were keen to look at electrification also from a perspective of additional revenues. In that light, we've today electrified over three platforms that are being tested, and, and recently at the auto show, we showcased both the electric Verito and Maximo, which are being towards going towards production very shortly. The rupee depreciation has been a big challenge for us, considering that almost 60 to 70 percent of electric cars, batteries, electronics, and although we import uh, a lot of the, we manufacture a lot of the electronics in India, the components that go into are imported. Uh, so we really last year embarked on a very strong uh, cost reduction plan, got all our engineers, everyone involved, uh, and came up with over 800 ideas. And what we've been able to do is a result of these cost reduction activities, at least keep some of the losses related to depreciation of the rupee out of the question, and therefore been able to fairly maintain similar prices on this area. However, the new E2O variant that we've launched today has enabled us to optimize certain cost structures and, 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 and feature optimize it, which has enabled us to get a five lakh price point, which I think is very different. I think the base has been very important for us. Uh, this year is going to be establishing other global markets and also looking at government policy. I think these are going to be big drivers in looking at a long-term vision. So our thought process always was that, you know, three years from today, can we hit 30,000 vehicles? Um, I think it's a long journey, but we're hopeful with the right policies and mechanisms we can get there.